Okay, in this video we are going to do partial derivatives, the first partial derivatives of the function f of xy is equal to x to the y. So this one's not too bad, but you're going to have to remember some calc 1 stuff. So we are doing this, and if we're going to find partial x, we have to think of our function as really a function of only one variable, and that variable is x. So really we're looking at f of x comma y is equal to x to the y. So what I'm doing here is I'm using uh, blue for x when it's a variable, green for y when it's a variable, and then purple when things are constants. So uh, here we just have x to the y, and this um, is actually a problem that you've done uh, maybe thousands of times. So in Calc 1, you had to take the derivative all the time, so the derivative with respect to f of just x to the n, right? And that's just the power rule. So in this case, we're actually just gonna use the power rule on this because y might as well be a number. This is like taking the derivative of x to the 12th, right? That would be 12x to the 11th. If you can do that, you can do this. So partial x is going to be, bring the exponent down and then subtract one from the exponent and you're actually done. So that's gonna be partial x for this function. Now we want to find partial y, and that's actually maybe a little more complicated. So partial y, we need to think of our function as x is a constant, y is the variable. So now we have a constant raised to a variable power. And you definitely did not do this as often as you did the power rule. But if you remember, you did have to deal with these in Calc 1. These are actually exponentials with bases other than e. So when we took the derivative with respect to x of a to the x, the derivative was a to the x times natural log of a. Um, and then sometimes you would even have to chain rule that, right? So it was like a to the u would be a to the u natural log of a and then the derivative of u. Um, but we don't have to worry about that here. And so when I find this derivative, I'm thinking it's a constant raised to a variable power. So the derivative is the original thing, so x to the y times the natural log of the base, which is the natural log of the x, and then technically times um, the derivative of y, but the derivative of y with respect to y is just one. Um, so there you go. Uh, this is a pretty straightforward example. You just have to remember those rules from Calc 1. So anytime you're finding partial derivatives, all of the derivative rules that you learned from Calc 1 still apply. You just have to, in your mind, keep track of what's a variable, what's a constant, um, and if you can do that, you'll be fine. So I hope you found this helpful, and good luck.